Greetings from Middle Earth. I'm Gandalf the Grey. No, not really. It's me, Michael. Um, oh, actually preparing, uh, preparing for the, um, to the for the uh, first screening um, of uh, the Hobbit, the third movie, Battle of the Five Armies. Ah, uh, in Ipswich, North Ipswich. Uh, the Limelight, uh, the Limelight Theatre or Cinema at 10 o'clock, uh, well 10 o'clock or 10.30 tomorrow, um, well this very morning, um, what time is it now? It's about 4, 4.36, yeah 4.36, um, uh, 4.36 in the morning, I uh, just wanted to show you, show off the, uh, costume, uh, Uh, it's hard to see here. Uh, there's the uh, staff. I got the authentic staff. The staff of Gandalf the Grey. And this is the sword. Landring. See its runes? Oh. Um. And the staff of Gandalf the Grey. Um, and these robes here, they're just um, something I ordered on eBay, yeah. they look the part. They're supposed to be the robes of our man, that's uh, what they're officially recurred, uh, referred to as. And uh, you can't see it under my beard, but uh, I, have, I have his silver scarf, I keep losing the damn thing. There it is. Uh, and uh, there's actually a. No, you wouldn't know it though. It, here's his uh, little emblem badge, metal badge. He's supposed to keep on his uh, cloak, but I, I can't even find it underneath this uh, this beard <laughs> beard here. Uh, I've got it attached to the straps, the straps of my uh, other cloak here. It's supposed to keep the cloak, uh, cloak together, but uh, every time I put it on, it, it's come flying off, so uh, I've just put on the straps, attached it. Um, I also have the, uh, the ring of Naya, or Naira, the ring of fire. Gandar's ring, it was given to him by... Um, I believe, well, you know how it was, um, stupid beard, can't talk for it, um, three rings for the Elven Kings, um, I think it's the uh, Ring of Water for uh, Elrond, and the Ring of Air for Galadriel, just guessing, and I guess, and uh, which I also have, if um, I might get them out um, later if I have time to. Um, and this is the Ring of Fire. It was actually given to the uh, Surden, the shipwright, but um, um, let me see. I've got written stuff written in the book here. I'm not sure who it went. the hands of Gandalf. I think um, Elrond gave it to him. After, uh, something must have happened to Surden. I'm not too sure. Um, my Rings law, is, it, my Lord of the Rings law is very patchy at best. I, I don't know it off by heart. Um, uh, it was created by Selimbrol. Selimbrol, who appears in the latest Lord of the Rings game. Um, um, Land of Mordor, was it? Oh, I've got it here. Was it? Oh man, 
take me forever to find here. Um, this hair is so um, in the way. So it's the blade sword. Um, <laughs> So these pictures do appear. Like, it's called Land of the Ring, uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, it's about the ranger, um, Tarion, or whatever his name is. Um, he was killed with his uh, wife and child, but um, he was brought back as a wraith. Sort of like a, a type of ghoul wraith. Or, it was kind of un uh, intelligent, undead ranger um, and his his spirit was um, his body was actually um, uh, bound with um, that of um, the elven smith I just mentioned uh, who, the one who fashioned the uh, the, the three rings uh, Selendor so he's in the game as well uh, and if I could just find the damn thing uh, on my computer Oh, there it is. Shadow of Mordor. Middle, it's called Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. And I haven't quite got all the way through it. Uh, details. I'll just look it up. Uh, find it stop. Store page. I'll just read it out to you. Fight through Mordor and uncover the truth of the of the spirit that compels you to discover the origins of the rings of power, build your legend and ultimately confront the evil of Sauron in this new chronicle of Middle Earth. That's all it says. <laughs> um, the spirit that compels you is um Kalimbor. Can I get the trailer? Yeah, he actually fights with you as well. Uh, you can actually uh, change the wraith form where you take his shape um, as, as he's really just a wraith or ghost, but a good, a good elven ghost. Um, and none of the, the um, Urix can see you. The Urix. Uh, the Ring of Fire. The Smiths of Irrigan. Composed of a large orb like ruby, placed in a se uh, seemingly delicate red gold setting, the ruby glows like fire, but the ring is invisible to all but Sauron and the bearer of the one ring. I wonder if that's why he appeared not to be wearing it um, during The Hobbit um, Unexpected Journey when he was. Uh, when his hands clasped um, the hands of um, Gladriel at, um, um, at one of the, um, uh, they're at Rivendell, yeah, and um, his hands touched uh, Gladriel's, um, to oh, they were comforting each other or something like that. Um, uh, I think there is a catch to that. Um, this was before uh, the um, the power, the power of the ring. Um, well, I'm not sure, but the power of the ring um, ceased ceased to ceased to exist um, when the One Ring was de destroyed. Uh, I think so. It lost its power. But um, Gandalf, Gandalf appeared to. Um, Appeared to be using, employing the power of the ring when um, he appeared in the goblin cave to, to rescue all the uh, dwarves. Um, 
that's because uh, generally Naira, Naira, Naira has the power to rekindle the, the fire of hearts of, has the power to rekindle the fire of men's hearts for it embodies the secret fire with, of which Gandalf is a servant of the secret fire so uh, I guess it's um, it's kind of um, <coughs> it's kind of a coincidence that it ended up in his in his hands. Um, in a sense, it is the incarnation of the passion for life and freedom, the antithesis of the darkness that subdued men in the grim days of the War of the Ring. Narya then was an ideal, was the ideal tool for Gandalf. With the destruction of the One and the end of his quest, Narya loses its power and becomes visible. Ah, that's interesting. <laughs> so he, he could have been wearing it, you just wouldn't know. It says uh, a small crystal globe nestles at the tip of his slightly gnarled six foot long staff. Magic oak staff, it's made from oak. Gandalf's tax bells, right? Empathy languages, yeah. So the, the staff is kind of magic too. If you notice, um, in the movies, from the movies, uh, Gandalf loses his staff and gets it replaced a few times. The, the first time um, was when he faces off with Sauron in the second movie, uh, second Hobbit film. Um, what was it called? The Desolation of Smog? Yeah. When he's in Dol Gadrol. Dol Gadrol. Um, the ruins of Dol Gadrol. And, um, um, he met Sauron for the first time he, where they just thought he was a necromancer. Um, of course, Gandalf, I think Gandalf had his suspicions that he knew who it what really was. And he used his staff, he held his staff out before him and it just melted in his hands. And um, I think you'll see in the next movie or later on in that very same movie that he had another staff. Uh, he also loses the staff. Um, the wooden staff he started with in, at the start of Lord of the Rings, which is completely different from the other two, which is, um, I think might be this one, or the one he got, no. Uh, and he lost that staff when he fought the Belrog, and then became Gandalf the White. So I think it's three or four wooden staffs like these, but uh, similar but not exactly the same uh, that he had um, and then he got the the white staff I'll, I'll get it for you I have that I'll just be right back uh, listen to the beautiful music um, Gregorian Masters of Chant Um, yeah, here it is. Gandalf the White Staff. Yeah, um, which actually gets broken when he faces the uh, witch captain of Mordor. Um, 
He's riding on a, on a NAS, uh, riding one of those um, fell beasts. No, like a huge. Um, it's like a bit like a cross between a wyvern and a pterodactyl uh, type creature. It's got a long tail, long leathery wings, a bit like a, a large bat. It's got a long neck, serpentine neck and head, hideous looking reptilian head on it. Um, the, uh, the wings are kind of um, ripped in places, ripped and torn in places, as it's uh, just a very corrupt creature, fell creature. And uh, the, uh, the, the Nazgul, the head of the Nazgul, the, the Witch King of Angmar, lands on Minas Tirith, on one, on one of the tiers of Minas Tirith, and um, he takes out his sword and it comes alight. And, um, he faces off with Gandalf, um, um, and he ends up breaking um, breaking Gandalf's staff in two, just uh, with his uh, powers. He didn't even touch it. Uh, this thing, it, it feels like it's it's supposed to be made of wood. I think it is. Uh, like the actual staff is made out, out of wood, but in real life, uh, it feels like plastic. It's like plastic, uh, woodish. Plastic. Uh, I wouldn't actually want to hit anything with it because it, it might just break. It, it feels pretty brittle. Uh, the staff, this staff, Gandalf, the grey staff feels heavier, <laughs> more solid. I like it better. It's more, it's more gnarly too. It's got that. It's just really cool looking. Uh, I prefer the costume for Gandalf the Grey than Gandalf the White. I haven't actually got much of a Gandalf the White costume. I guess he'd have a white wig and beard because he went from grey to white. Well, it says in the book I just read there um, that he always has grey hair. And he's also the oldest looking of the wizards who bears the most... Um, um, who shows the, um, all the physical signs of uh, bearing... Um, all the weight from his struggle. They're actually, um, all the wizards are known as a, a Mayar, Mayar spirits. They're, they're type of, um, kind of like a, the, uh, the equivalent of an angel, the angels of God, except they're the, they're the Mayar spirits of Manwi, the, um, the head, the head god of Middle-earth. Um, Manwi, uh, well, he's, he's actually the head Valar, uh, there is a god called uh, Ayu, I think, the Elevator, something like that. Yeah, he's the one god uh, who created all the Valar. Manwe is the head of the Valar. He's the uh, uh, he's like the breath, the breath of Ardor. Ardor is the uh, another name for Middle Earth. And um, Gandalf, uh, I think uh, he's uh, Gandalf is like directly underneath him. He, 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 Gandalf works for him uh, when he sent the five wizards out to Middle Earth, and um, they're also within the, Ma the there are other Mayar which are the fire spirits. Those of some of which um, have become corrupt, most of which have become corrupt, uh, and then known as Belrogs, Belrogs, one of which Gandalf fought in Middle in Moria, the uh, mines of Moria. Um, over the bridge of Kazandam, and um, that's when he became Gandalf the White. He beat it. He eventually beat it, and then became the Gandalf the White. And um, um, the spirit, the um, the corrupt Balrog, was no more. Or well, so it seemed. Anyway, um, they're all Maya. They're all angels, I guess. Some some sort of light beings. Um, apparently, because they're they're also, the five wizards are actually known as Ishtar, which is a sect, the special sect they are a part of within the Maya, uh, the Ishtari, which is kind of like, it's just another word for wizard. Um, I, I tried looking up this, wo this word, because I've heard it before, um, um, I thought it had some Middle Eastern um, meaning, um, apparently it's a god, name of a goddess. Ishtar, Ishtari or something like that, uh, goddess of love, uh, of love and friendship or something like that, harmony, uh, um, I don't know it off by heart, but um, that's, I, that's where I thought I heard it before, 
they're the Istari, and because of what they are, the the, the special, they have a special restrictions placed on them. Um, they're not allowed to show their true form. Their true form is like truly magnificent light beings of light. In that, uh, the the uh, the 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 wizard look, the uh, the long hair and the uh, beards and the robes and the uh, the uh, wizened faces and the uh, their um, bent bodies are, are just um, are just clothing. Um, their human skin. Well, they the, the, it's just um, the shape they hide behind while um, working on Middle Earth. So, uh, uh, and they're kind of forbidden to uh, shed their um, shed their wizard forms, uh, um, lest it uh, attract the um, lest it attract evil, the evil of uh, lieutenants of Sarwin, Sar Sauron and um, his Nazgul. Uh, they're also forbidden from um, overusing, um, unnecessarily using magic, which um, Gandalf rarely uses himself. Like, how many times have you actually seen him use, um, like, um, vulgar magic in, a, in the vulgar sense? Not, not much, really, yeah. Only little things like, um, um, like the wizard battle where they they appear to be using telekinesis on each other and Gandalf goes flying up to the top of the uh, top of the tower uh, via Saruman's power when he um, when when he reveals his true plans to him and um, they start fighting and he takes um yeah that's when he takes yes <coughs> that's another time Gandalf loses his staff when he fights Saruman. So he loses it twice. So he loses his staff. He has one staff at the start of the movie. He fights Saruman. Gets trapped on top of the Orth, um, Tower of Isengard. Gets rescued by the uh, Lord of Eagles. Um, and he might have um, he might have actually taken him to the to the Undying Lands, where he got his staff replaced. So he had another staff when um, he met R Frodo at R Rivendell, and um, uh, there would be a second staff that he lost to the Balrog, which was then replaced with this one. So I don't really know which which one this is. It, basically, it's connected with the Hobbit, so it's probably the one he had at the Hobbit start of the Hobbit, which was another one completely. So he loses his stuff four times, I think, three or four times. Um, this one looks prettier, but <laughs> it's it's much lighter. You wouldn't expect it to do much damage if you bash, try to bash on a little bit. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, they're the Ishtari, a sect, a special sect of five wizards of the, um, who are all Maya, along with the Barogs. Uh, I don't know what else. Oh, yeah, um, Sauron is a Maya too. Yeah, Sauron. Um, he's an evil Maya. Um, I'm not sure who else we may are. Um, then all the elves, dwarves and hobbits and humans were underneath them. As well as the ants and trolls and orcs and, uh, and goblins. Um, where's that ring? Did I just lose it? Oh man. Yeah, the ring may run. Um, I'll show you some other rings I've got. Oh. This is the... Uh, it's, uh, it's the um, cloak that, uh, emblem thing. Uh, cloak um, clasp that um, the hobbits were given. 
I think um, Aragorn War One too. Aragorn the Ranger, future king of um, Middle Earth. Yeah, I wore this to the first Hobbit movie. I don't think anyone noticed. I'm not sure what room this is. I'll take it out, but um, if it's blue, I'd say it's the ring of water that belonged to our uh, Elrond. And it's too small to fit. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I could look it up here. Um, no, I don't think it's. I don't think it'd be found in here. This is only a book of the Maya and Vela. Um, it's a game book, but um, I don't see why they'd lie about stuff. <laughs> they might be a little bit um. um inaccurate, but I don't think they'd lie. Oh, right now. I think someone's stolen my um oh, hang on. here's the um the jewel of the evening star that um Aragorn gave to Arwen the um the Elven princess daughter of um Elrond. It's a replica. The evening star. I also had the Ring of Galadriel, the Ring of Air, and the One Ring, <laughs> and Gar Aragorn's Ring, um, the one he wore. Yeah, he had a special ring as well. Um, I, I don't think it was a magical ring, it was just a, something of an official ring. And bloody rats, um, we have a definite rat problem. Uh, Rats of the uh, the two-legged variety. Uh, they've gone through my stuff. These are bloody. Um, they weren't cheap. They weren't really expensive either. They they cost me a couple of hundred dollars. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Um, my interest in Lord of the Rings, I'm not really into jewelry. I just wanted to say, hey, I have this. Um, they're easy to keep. They're easy to keep than swords. That's why I haven't been collecting all the swords. Not to mention they're, they're bloody expensive. No, that's the Ring of Galadriel. 